TLO, what's poppin'? We are on Twitch. We are live. So by the time you see this, we won't be. So just leave a like, comment, subscribe. Turn on your little post notification bells, man. Let's continue to grow the family from Chicago to the UK, man. Uh, right behind me, you see it. Just a little warning screen just in case. Don't forget we are on Twitch. Like I said earlier, man, the username is at the bottom of the screen. Catch you alive, previous lives, or be ready for the future lives. We also got Patreon where we post five days a week, Monday through Friday. Sometimes more we put stuff that we can't watch on YouTube. But this is Police Interceptors. This is, a, apparently this is a 2024? 24 episode? Alright. Talk to me then. Copyright, copyright disclaimer under section 107 of the Copyright Act 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit, educational or personal use tips the balance in favor of fair use. No copyright infringement intended. All rights belong to their respective owners. True. I didn't click that. I didn't click that. So. Burglaries in Durham and Cleveland the egg is out! have been on the increase. And there's one particular type of break-in that's seen a marked rise. Contact with him, contact with him. The two in one. Get out! Get out! Get out! Go! 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 Two one burglary is one, it's a burglary. And the second crime is committed is a theft of motor vehicle. Yeah, they covered this on the last episode. Therefore, you've got two crimes ultimately. It, it, what is it called? One because they've burgled your house um, in order to get to commit the other crime. Put it down, get on the floor. It's happened more than ever now. It's criminals, they'll take the easy option. They'll just come along, they'll try your door. If your door is unlocked, they will be in within seconds and the first thing they will go for is a set of keys for a car. It's 11 p.m. in Middlesbrough. Lock them doors, people. But not everyone is tucked up in bed. Second exit, continuing straight on Martin Road. Officers in the Grove Hill area are in pursuit of a stolen black BMW and a white Audi being driven in convoy. Both going left off road towards Castle Way, but you just keep going. The getaway drivers are suspected of being part of a professional burglary gang responsible for a string of two in ones in the Middlesbrough area. But they don't seem that keen to face justice. And dog handler Mo Rashad is catching up with the pursuit in case the suspects decide to ditch and run. 485, the dog's required anywhere of this. Yes, yes. Mo has been a cop for 10 years. He's following in his father's footsteps. That's valiant. I, I salute that you follow in your father's footsteps, but either grow your beard out or shave it off. You know what I'm saying? It's 2024. And just like his old man, he loves catching the bad guys. These intruders have got into somebody's house and taken these keys. And uh, it's absolutely uh, massively important we get these chaps. Coming towards uh, Keith Road now. Back with the pursuit, the stolen cars are booting it through residential streets, doing their best to shake off the cops. Close together, speed is 4 0. 40 turns to 70. This pursuit is becoming dangerous. A crash at this speed could be fatal. What's the van doing? Get out the way, please. No change in the conditions. Traffic is still light. Pedestrians is still light. Although the streets are quiet, the suspect's driving is becoming increasingly desperate. Straight over. It seems the they'll do bump. anything to escape. The interceptors are trying to keep the chase confined to the. I'm, I'm just curious, like, why wouldn't they split up? Why are they following each other? Like, wouldn't it be smart, like, the Grove Hill area and away from the town center? We got a right, right, right. Did you need 
units to bother sons get on you. We need units to top on Laggate Lane, please. But five minutes into the chase, the fleeing felons up the ante by parting ways. Where's he going? He's gone left to Martin Road. The way Audi has gone left Martin Road, we are behind the uh, BMW yeah, right. gate. With other units following the white Audi, the lead car remains with the black Beamer. The pursuit is now only a mile away from the town centre. We are heading towards town here. If it heads in that direction, the police will be forced to call it off. But the suspect takes a left away from town. And after seven minutes of thrashing the Beamer, the car's given up the ghost. The engine's smoking, so I think so it's a Yeah, buddy, there goes that intake manifold. <laughs> yeah, it's over with. You're done. The suspect hoped it would be the interceptors, not his engine, that gave up. Mo is closing in, but before he can join the pursuit, the fleeing car flies through a junction. The VM is smoking, I think he's losing power. Crash, crash, crash. The getaway driver. All right, Mo, I don't understand why you had to hit the car as well. It was already done. Crashes into the back of a passing motorist, and the interceptors make a tactical hit. But the suspect's not hanging. I don't think that's very tactical. I, I almost think it was pointless. Hanging around to swap details. What's that show called? Where, the, where they slide across the hood of the engine? Mo, you watch too much TV. Look at this one. Hold on, look. Round to swap details. Bro been waiting his whole 10 year career to slide around across the roof of a car. Look. But the suspect's not hanging around to swap details. Effortless. Salute. The officer is hot on his heels and the suspect soon in cuffs. Where are we trying to get over there? Just. I don't even know my way about there, you know. The driver of the blue Honda was shaken and suffered minor injuries. Thanks. With one burglary bandit behind bars, the interceptors now turn their attention to his suspected accomplice, the driver What's of the white going? Audi, and Mo has some intel. Oh, that wasn't even Mo. Who slid across that car like that then? So we've got information to say the uh, gentleman earlier from the two-in-one burglary is in this address here, so Star we're going to have information as soon as yeah. we can. Everyone's here. We'll act and get it out. But will this lead to an arrest? Right, Here we go. Right. Pursuit of two... And I need a recap. Let's get to the house. Let's get to the house. Press here, so we're going to have the uh, gentleman earlier from the two-in-one burglary. He's in this address here, so we're going to act on that information as soon as we can. Everyone's here. We'll act. My fault. And Mo has a lead. Mo got a lead. So we've got information to say the uh, gentleman earlier from the two-in-one burglary is in this address here, so we're going to act on that information as soon as we can. Everyone's here. We what information? How did you get that information? His accomplice in the black BMW snitched? Relax and get it out. With the team in position, they're going in. Go. Right. I'm going to take you. Hello, please. Come on in. How are you doing? There's a man behind the sofa. We got him. Is it him? But is he playing hide and seek or hiding from the law? Yeah. The interceptors have the suspect. And a house full of coppers has the man reaching for his smokes. Why can't I have a smoke, right? Because I'm arrest. Well, I know I'm under arrest, but why can't I have a smoke? Because I'm taking I'm getting locked up, man. Why can't I have a smoke, right? Just get the bottle. Just put it in there. Go and grab my rollie off the table, bring it. I've never seen any of these police officers. Act maybe Mo? 
I don't think so. Get out of here. While smoking is a bad habit, it's the man's suspected habit of stealing the public's cars that means he's off to the nick for questioning. Absolute result. So we've caught the uh, guy behind these two and ones. Um, further evidence has been found in the address uh, linking him to the offences. Um, and I think together as a, t as a, as a shift team, uh, we've got him. So absolutely over the moon. The driver of the BMW was convicted of no insurance, no license, theft of vehicles, dangerous driving and hey. burglary. Okay, so this is further up north. Because it's, it's in a different county. And the general feeling of this one is a more action. He was banned from driving for 47 yeah, months and received a total of three years and 10 months. No, 47 months is crazy. Bro, well, banned for a lot driving for four years? It's in prison. And he got three? Oh, well, most of it's going to be in jail, so whatever. The man arrested in the house was taken back to prison on recall and is currently under investigation for burglary. No further action was taken in relation to driving the white Audi. Each time the interceptors head out to jobs where weapons are involved, they know the lives of the public and also their own could be on the line. There's more and more cases where you are coming across weapons being or concealed on people or in. That was fake. There's That's fake. There's more and more cases where you are coming across weapons being or concealed on people or in cars. Um, you've got to be, off, be on your guard as best you can. It doesn't put me off. It just makes you want to catch people more. But ultimately, we're here to make a living. Yes, we want to catch people, but we all want to go home to our families at the end of the day uh, uninjured. It's the late shift, and Paul Jacko Jackson is on patrol oh. in his BMW oh. X5 when a call comes in about a disturbance in Bishop Auckland. Just had a job come in, a 999 call from comms. There's a male in the house who's threatening to slash his family up. We don't know if he's in possession of a knife of any description, um, but he certainly made the threats. Jacko... To do it to his family? a highly trained firearms officer and received commendations for bravery. He'll certainly need lots of that tonight. I'm going to a house I've never been in before to deal with somebody I've never met before. I feel like this is your favorite show to watch or Bad Lads Army, one of the two. Not Bad Lads, Lads Army. So this week, let's see who gets more likes. You know what I'm saying? Let's just see who could get more likes. Lads Army or this. So hit the like button. What I wanna I wanna just, you know, test a little theory out. You feel me? Or who might have a knife. So I've gotta be quite cautious about how I approach that. You don't just pull straight in. Yeah. Because somebody can be behind the door and you walk in, you get a knife in the back. Um, which isn't ideal. With the incident ongoing, Jacko needs to get to the scene as soon as he can. The weather gets there first, his single crew, and they're going to be by themselves. But fortunately, the Royal Army and being on an armed response car, I've got the Blitz. a little bit more kit with us to help me out than yeah. colleagues on the Panda would have. So if there's going to be a cop getting there, single crew, that might as well be an armed cop. Hello, just pull up on scene now. Policy. Jacko is first on the scene, and there's some alarming news over the radio. Well, so what is it? Apparently the male is now on the street threatening that he's going to slash police officers' throats. The suspect has allegedly threatened to kill cops, but with the occupants of the house potentially in serious danger, Jacko has no time to wait for backup. He needs to... Wait a minute now, Jacko. Now you're moving crazy. To take action. Tango three, two. Did you receive? No. Okay, now he's professionally trained, right? I would have grabbed pipe. I ain't even gonna hold you. I'm grabbing the firearms. He grabbed the taser. Smart. Don't they gotta get authorization to unlock them anyway? On scene. There are angry voices coming from the house, and Jacko has his taser drawn. Oh, you're on, Are we doing you all right? 
Yeah. Step out of the way for a second, love. You alright, fella? Have you got out on you shouldn't have, mate? Jacko tries to talk the man down, but he's having none of it. Oh, calm yourself down now. Don't mess around. I ain't think that's for the, I think that's for the days, buddy. They hit him with forty thousand volts. How many volts is in that? 30, 40, 20? That's tough. Buddy got to. Boy, he sounded like a bag of bricks hitting those stairs, didn't he? Otherwise, you're going to get there again. Do you understand? With the suspect aggressive and not responding to instructions, Jacko has little choice but to taser him. Tasers are a less lethal option, delivering 50,000 volts. But the man will soon... 50,000. Oh, man. Recover. Put your hands out in front of you and I'll hang off you. It's very calm now, ain't he? <laughs> that 50,000, it changed your whole dynamic of, you know what I'm saying? Got the big Glock on his waist. I feel it, man. It's tough. Right, this moment in time, you're locked up on suspicion of threats to kill, possessing an offensive weapon. Okay, mate? Not gonna lie, I haven't seen nobody get tased in a little minute. That was, that was negative. You all right? Yeah, good see you, man. LA, one male detained, he has been tasered. Um, if I could have a cage for you. You alright? Yep. Have you got a knife on you? No. I draw a Very calm now, ain't he? Where the cage? Yep. Have you got a knife on you? No. I draw it where the cage are, but I'll take the head when I've hit the stairs. Alright, well, we'll get you checked out if you need to be checked out, alright? But you can't. When he runs it, we check him, mate. I well, I'll tell you what, you've got some barbs in yet. They're just like little fishing hooks, all right? I can either leave them in or I can pull them out. It's quick like a cat. Cut Do you want us to pull them out? Cut the cables. I kind of cut the cables. Do you want us to pull them out? If you mind my French, when I swear, yeah, I don't mind. All right, don't If worry. he thought the taser was painful going in, one. it's also not great coming out. Two, all right, they're out. Me. Have you got a knife on you? No, that was on my keys. Right. You cannot be saying that you're going to slash cops' throats, okay? Back up. Yeah, he was moving crazy. He was moving mad. With that information, plus him coming by himself, he had to hit you with that. Arrives on the scene, so yeah, Jacko talks no to choice. the man's family to try to get to the bottom of what's gone on. How are we doing? You all right? The incident is blamed on a combination of anger issues fueled by drink. I was going to cave his face in. It's been a shocking resolution to a tense episode. <laughs> oh, the narrator, you on it today. But he said it's been a shocking resolution. <laughs> That's funny. 50,000 volts worth of shock, wasn't it? That's tough. I was going to cave his face in. No, you wasn't. It's been a shocking resolution to a tense episode. God damn. But with the situation potentially escalating, Ooh. the taser was the right tool for the job. Who comes out in front of you and I'll hang off yet? Just a fantastic bit of kit. It's instantly incapacitated him. He's fallen to the ground and he's followed my instruction to the letter then. Put your hand. I've never got hit with a taser like that. Like, <laughs> taser, taser. Trigger and release. I've got hit when they had the gun. I was handcuffed too. I was handcuffed to a bench in the precinct or in the, in the little holding area, and I was just, you know, yelling. I wasn't yelling. I was just talking. I was just talking crazy. And buddy came up to me with it, and he hit, put it in my ribs, and he hit the thing. It didn't really hurt though. At this point in my life, I was like seven percent body fat, all muscle. It took a minute for me to like. Be like, all right, brother, just stop now. Hands out, you're handcuffed, you're under arrest. I haven't had to go hands on, I haven't had to risk getting hurt or him getting hurt. I haven't had to pepper spray him and affect everybody in the house. I've drawn my taser and it's, uh, it's had the desired effect instantly. Don't know what the interactions that family have with the son, um, but speaking to them, they're upset, they're visibly upset, the, the mother's crying. Apart from being distressed uh, and upset, 
they're in tears and they're quite fearful they're quite frightened so it can't have been a, a pleasant ordeal for them um, and the fact that it's took a cop to come in and fire a taser at the sun to buy them any sort of respite and keep them safe that's quite a sad state of affairs but in the short term it means they're going to be fine overnight um, he'll be fine if he needs any medical treatment he'll get out at the police station and with the man oh, now you turn back up with you in there safely locked up in the van it seems this isn't his first brush with the boys in blue. Right, you just sit tight. Apparently, according to local cops, it's not the first time we've been here. This is a fairly frequent occurrence. So unless they draw a line in the sand and say, enough's enough, you can't behave like this, he'll continue to do it. Right, you just sit tight. No further action was taken in regards to the threats to kill, but he was cautioned for public order. I'm not gonna lie, this is a very eventful episode. This is everything we look for in police interceptors. <laughs> it's everything we can ever open. Is it your car? Yeah. All right, it just uh, rings a bell for a job the other night. Each time the interceptors head out. Hello, mate, how are you doing? They never know what they're going to get. We're not oh, hey, well, don't give me the V's. Or who's going to get involved. I'm, just, I'm, just, I'm talking to these, I'm busy dealing with these, all right? Ma'am? Excuse or me. Or who's going to get involved? I, 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 I got stopped by a lady cop. <laughs> What's that song, Lil Wayne? Wee, 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 wee. When I get up early. My fault. I'm talking to these. I'm busy dealing with these, all right? I don't care. Get out of my face. Things can escalate. Are you trying to intimidate me? Are you trying to wind us up? In a matter of... Is that snow? Where are we? Does it snow in the UK? I heard it's rare. Seconds. What are you trying to go home? He's talking about I'm in the house. What do that mean? <laughs> I don't care. You want to go to a job and in your heart of hearts you want it to be nice and neat and dead straightforward and simple but that seldom happens more often than not jobs will grow legs and before you know it you're dealing with something i haven't seen snow in two years so not mad about that but right now florida we are in hurricane season it's supposed it's been raining the entire week it was, it's irritating it's taking the energy out of me. That's why y'all ain't seen me streaming during the day. I be tired. I be in the bed. I be in the bed. Listening to the raindrops hit the window. Talking about some... <laughs> you feel me? Good sleep. We weren't expecting. But, like I say, the one thing we expect in this job is the unexpected. It's lunchtime in sunny Hartlepool. Single... It's lunchtime in sunny Hartlepool. This is cool. The, the what is the, what is these called? Windmills. Is this a wind farm? A windmill farm situation? It's on the water though. That's raw. That's the perfect place for it to be. All right. Anyway. Single crew Jimmy Greaves has clocked a dodgy looking red VW. Looks like he's got a brake light out and he's absolutely hammering it down this road. Looks like he's got a brake light out. How did you see that from this, from what I'm looking at, how did you see the brake light was out? And he's absolutely hammering it down this road, so we'll try and make some ground and catch up with him. Jimmy served 13 years in the British Army, but the conflict today turbines, is about to turbines, take place okay. on the suburban streets of this county Durham town. We call them windmills. Damn. Jimmy's putting his foot down to catch up with the VW which has turned into a side road. Slow down, Jimmy. The BW has been abandoned on the pavement by this gent. Come here. Give me your hands now. What? The driver was trying to flee. Come sit in the front of my car. And he's got an audience. Sit in the front of my car. Were you on the boat? 
the man's relation turns up. Just calm down. No, no! You see what doing with my son, you. Eh? Just go away. No, you've got to... Get out of Bad move. No. Get out of that car. There's a dog in the back of there. Get out, now. Don't care. Right? Leave me alone, no! Stop. It's a tricky situation. Then. Leave him alone! But Jimmy is convinced the man has something to hide. Right, I've just seen you get all that... I don't know, man. The, the, the girl right here is moving weird. She's moving narcotic-y. Car running on this corner, right? So what are you driving that car for? Are you allowed to drive that car? Let's do he some checks. Let's do some checks. He wasn't driving. Yes, he was. Wasn't. If you don't calm down, girl, you're going to get locked up. The woman begins to head off. Driving, Mama. Go ahead. Stop. She just leave her After facing a mouthful of profanities, finally Jimmy gets some quality time with his suspect. Driver, some was up. The man denies driving the VW. Give us your full name again. And with a crowd gathering, so I'm like a lot of way, like, eh? For now. The lady takes advantage of Jimmy being on his own and enters the VW. Roger, can you see if there's a local unit uh, to come by with a van? Jimmy's missing none of it, and he heads down to investigate. What are you doing inside that vehicle? My, 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 getting my stuff out, my, my son's stuff right. out. Right, out you come just now. I'm, yes, se I'm seizing start, this vehicle. I'm seizing this vehicle. Out you come now. Don't start talking to me about where, Mike. Where, or you'll get locked up. Don't start talking to me about where, Mike. This is your last warning, all right? Next time you're getting locked up, all right? Jimmy returns to the suspected driver and radios for backup. But the woman isn't finished yet. She's still... You're not getting anything just now. What do you mean? Just, well, just two. Not yet. Yet. He's going to be getting breath tested first. It's an old smack it out, you know. Yeah, just to give me some assistance in the first thing. He's going to be getting breath tested first. It's an old... He's not a smack... Well... Well... Ma'am, that's, that's up to us to figure out. Because just because you say it... Doesn't make it true. Because you're moving kind of wild yourself. And Buddy had on a, a, a sweat suit with a with a button up under it with the collar folded out. That's that is nitty activity if if I do say so myself. So let's continue. Smack it on, you know. Yeah, just to give me some assistance in the first instance, we've got oh, quite a large group out. of people just uh, moving around outside here. A lot of people. And two people as well. This is a distraction Jimmy could do without. Why don't you just go over there until we're finished and I'll come and speak to you? No. Right. Because, like, you've got... Well, we don't know where we're going yet because we're going to do the checks. Another unit comes here. Are we talking about? Don't have a speak to you like that. Just because he's, just cause he's in uniform. I feel like and she's... because he's ex-army. I feel like she's on fast forward. Like, let's slow down a little bit. With a taser in his belt and a dog in the boot. Why don't you take your son in the house instead of bringing him out here so he's like, getting exposed to this? You can't tell me so what he, I do. So he doesn't you're have to stand dad. and watch it? You are not my dad. You can no, watch I'm it. No, I'm not. You're right. Yeah, exactly. Is your father around? I don't... Uh, did he... All right. You're not my boss or I like. Well, I've not been able to deal with you because I've been too busy having to deal with her. Jimmy establishes <laughs> that the man doesn't have a driving line. Her flick-off game is strong. That middle finger is... That middle finger... Bench presses 400 pounds. That's crazy. License or insurance. Or know you're the driver because I passed you on the other side of the road. And arranges to get the car seized. As the cavalry arrives, they need to secure the keys to the VW, but they're nowhere to be found. She's calmed down now, but she was kicking off a bit before, and I was trying to deal with him while she was kicking off. And I need to make sure the keys are secured from that car, and then she's took them out. Right, do you want me to try it? The lady denies taking the keys, and Jimmy's patience is wearing thin. Look, if you don't give us the keys... She should have disappeared. It's like... I locked her up for a stuck police. Right, I locked her up for a stuck police. You're getting locked up for a stuck police. Right? Because you've took the keys out of that car, you're I not giving them I back. Me. You would Search you were in that car. Come and sit in the back of this van. Get your hands off me then. Come and sit in the back of this van. She's in the van to cool off. She's gone and emptied the vehicle with stuff and took the keys. And now she won't tell me where they are. So I'll either drag that off there, which is potentially going to damage the road and damage other cars getting dragged off here, or it can be driven on the back of the truck. Either way, it's going. Seconds out, round two. 
plate, Leon. Shall we start again? You know what? I'm getting really Leon. Bad Leon, shall we start again? Um, Where's the keys for this car? I don't have them. Search me. Well, where have you put them? I haven't had them on my three kids. Well, you're going to get locked up then. Listen to me. All my three kids is lighting on my sister's. Sid. I left them in the ignition. He told me. Well, he Jeremy must have dug them. I no. haven't got them. Search me. You were the only person in that car. This is one broken record that no one wants to hear again. Right, you're getting locked up. Listen to me, Sid. Oh. She is cringe. She's very cringe. Like, don't don't fight for me like that. Not when the police is there and it's already done. You're making it long. Go in the house. <laughs> Go get in the car. And, like, wait until they pull off and file it. Like, I'll call you and tell you the station. Like, don't do that. That is crazy. Jimmy's uninsured driver was reported for driving without a license and insurance. The lady who turned a routine stop into a total nightmare was given a caution for obstructing police. Uh, Still to come. Stay there, no! Hey, wait a minute now. Interceptors are no strangers to speed. And when criminals try to leg it from the law, they put on the gas, whether it's behind the wheel... So Jeff Fagel's just ahead of us. Slow, slow, slow. Or on foot. Got one detained, got the driver. It's Saturday morning, and interceptor Steve Aidy is out looking for a wanted suspect. It's currently 8 o'clock in the morning, nice early start. Um, let's see if we can get this lad in, if he's in. And if not, we'll go along for him. Despite the hour, Steve's up for an early jog if need be. You can run, you know, people do run away from us. Um, we don't always get them first time, but the majority of the time, we get them. Steve's hobbies include fishing, so he knows a thing or two about reeling in slippery okay. customers. That's what do. You want to be as quick as you can over the first 100 metres. And really, it, it can be a war of attrition. We're, we're, we wear a lot of kit, and we're, you know, more often than not, we're actually older than the people that we're chasing. So there's distinct advantages. They're wearing their best Nikes, got track suits on. We were probably wearing about two stone worth of kit. Steve's journey to the suspect's house is cut short when a scruffy looking Cleo catches his eye. Uh, like, when they say two stones, I still don't even understand why. How do you, where did this come about? Like, where did that word and like how did why like why why do y'all use it? I'm just curious, but like, well, how much is it again? How many pounds is a stone? Fourteen or something? Because we're gonna turn before he does. He's expecting the Cleo to be right behind him. He should have turned by now. I would have went straight. You turned. <laughs> The Clio had been indicating to go down the same road as Steve, but it hasn't followed. Even though he's in an unmarked motor, Steve might have been clocked as a copper. Blue Clio, which somehow managed to give us the slip, despite best efforts, um, he's obviously, for me, that immediately says he's done something wrong. I'm assuming he lives in the area, and if he's gone anywhere, he's going to be attempting to get back to wherever he lives. So I, th I always think the best thing is just hang around the last place that you saw him. Go do what you're supposed to be Steve doing. Steve continues to cruise around the main roads, and five minutes later, his instincts prove spot on. The motor has reappeared. Dang. There he is, there, man. By the time Steve's done a Yui, the Cleo is long gone, but it's soon back in his sights. There he is, he's away. Ah, uh, he almost was away. Hey! <laughs> the driver's ditched his motor and is trying his luck on foot. And he's got a decent head start on Steve. Uphill, too. And I've got to run up and stand if anyone's free. Being late out of the blocks, Steve isn't sure which way the... Steve's not very fast. Um, he was given superb advice, though. Suspect is gone. Which way? But a passerby turns race marshal and points him in the right direction. Let me not fly local, please. 
telling you, there's always that law-abiding citizen. The runner has disappeared through the trees and turned this sprint into the cross country. And Steve's going the distance. There he is. He spots right, this pace right. setter at the edge of the forest and starts closing the gap. Let me get me on up and. The runaway, clad in his finest sportswear, may. Hey, listen, we don't give the cameraman enough credit. The cameraman is on this chase too, with probably more poundage on him. Pause. We have a weight advantage over Steve's cumbersome kit, but this interceptor's a thoroughbred. Steer there now! Get on the floor! The suspect is out of puff and has given up. Yeah, we've got him. Oh man. Okay. One detained. The runaway may have legged it off like a hare, but Steve has summoned his inner tortoise and eventually bagged his man. He banned. Oh no. Wait, you run for him? Oh, nice. yeah. It's not even worth running. The runner's got his breath back and is using it to give Steve some verbal. Oh, no. uh, you're under arrest, mate. Oh, Wait, you run away from the police for them? Wait, what are you doing pumpers for? You got no license? What are you driving for? Maybe because I, because I want to. All right. I want to lock you up then, don't I? Are you unlocked up anyways, aren't I? Huh? While he's fessed up to not having a license, Steve reckons there's another reason for his bad Mo Farah impression and quickly whips out his drug wipe. Because you've committed a moving vehicle offence and the fact that you're driving without a licence, it gives me a power to um, subject you to a drug wipe, OK? This kit tests for cannabis and cocaine and those two drugs alone, OK? It's brand new, sealed. All right. You stick your tongue on, bud. Stick that further than that, mate. An unlicensed and potentially drugged-up driver is off the road, all because Steve had a funny feeling about the motor. Part of this job is... Um, Using the, the copper snout, as it were, you know, it's, it's something that we we finally tune over the years, and you, you do get better at it. Um, you know, certain scenarios don't look right to you. Certain ones make you turn the car around, make you do a couple of checks, and like today, it just leads to something. And Steve's spidey sense has hit double top today with the drug wine. Positive result for cannabis. So he's told us that he smoked some last night. Um, normally, that would indicate that it's still going to be in his system. Yeah. Uh, a day, two days, three days, four days after he smoked it. So um, we'll give the, the nurse a shout. We'll get some blood from him, hopefully. A blood test will give definitive. That's why I don't smoke, man. Drug free is for me. Especially a weed. Like that stuff. It's completely legal uh, medically here. And it's for recreation in Chicago, but I'm good. Proof as the line on the drug wipe is pretty faint. Right, buddy. That's coming up with, albeit a minor one, but a positive reading for cannabis, all right? That's not positive, well, mate. That, no, it is, all right? It's just right just to the left of that amazing, line, yeah. there is a faint indication for cannabis, all right? It's not, it's so, at this yeah, point in time, you're under arrest. There's nothing even on the... You've seen it, so why do you need to look at it again? Because there's nothing... Yeah, I'm trying to see the... Where? Right, the solid purple, the solid pink line there. Right. Look to the left of it, there's a fainter right. pink Hold line. On. All right, we're looking at cannabis. Piss off, yeah. All right. Although the doesn't matter, you can go to the yeah, do the blood. Suspect clearly disagrees with the drugs wipe. There's no argument to be had with a blood test, which came back positive ah. for cannabis. Yeah. The man pleaded guilty to drug driving and driving with no license or insurance. He was disqualified from driving for 12 months and ordered to pay 198 pounds in fines and costs. But it's a, a positive result from nothing really. You know, on another day. He evades police, he drives past us, he runs away from us. Um, but obviously the uh, the stars of a line today, we've been able to get hold of him. Agreed. It's Halloween weekend, and the guys and ghouls of Middlesbrough are... That's creepy. ...are trick and treating themselves to a night on the town. The Halloween or not? Why are nobody dressed up no more? Just the first little couple people. Halloween typically sees a spike in crime, and PC Jimmy Greaves is expecting a busy shift. I think whenever you you drive through any town centre on a, uh, a Friday or Saturday night, you've got to expect the worst. 
you've got to have eyes in the back of your head and um, expect the unexpected really. Pub kicking out time, club kicking out time. You're just rolling into fight after fight. And something's kicking off nearby. What's kicking off? There's a large fight around the corner where it looks like something's kicking off. Jimmy blue lights it to the incident. Other officers are on scene and a man is laying himself down for the law. Get on your front, on your front, lie on your front, put your hands behind your back. This reveller is just what he do? suspected of committing an assault further down the road. Fight? I've got nothing to do with it. Well, you've got to have something to do with it. Check the cameras. Check the cameras. Right, a minute, mate. You're locked up for assault, okay? Yeah, what? I don't have to answer. Don't have to answer. Don't have to Bring your legs up. Bring your legs up. You're not going to get any time for a simple assault. Legs up. Bring your legs up. Why are you looking me up for assault? Bring your knees up to your chest and we're going to sit you up, okay? Get on your feet. All right, I will. I'm going to go and lock him up, mate. It would appear that Miss Mill has just been arrested and has been involved. Ooh, about six, eight. Involved in the fight. The cameras have been watching it and um, he's been locked up for uh, assault, so he's on route to custody. It's just now non-stop tonight. From the minute we've rolled out the gates, it's been very what we would class as a chewy night. There's lots of people scrapping, fighting. Uh, it's just been one after the other. Looking forward to our days off after this. With one suspect detained, Jimmy heads over to the scene of another fight. Hey, it's busting. It's busting in Cleveland. It appears that there's... Uh, been quite a large fight and the aftermath still here. There's a lot of cops turned up now, so they're just sending people on their way and making sure that it's not about to boil over again. Although the temperature outside is low, tempers seem to be rising. Fight across the road, fight across the road. That was stupid. <laughs> like, y'all see the police, why would y'all start fighting? They're across the street. Stop the floor, take him down. Get his arm bend his button. Get his arm bend his button. So we've got a bit of crazy kick out time um, in Middlesbrough. Looks like uh, everyone's had far too much to drink. As a result, we've got one fight rolling into the next one. Um, the sirens going off all over the place as cops uh, getting up, running absolutely ragged. There'll be some sore heads in the morning. One unfortunate young man has been left in a serious state on the pavements by an unidentified assailant. I've now got one male injury with a head That's injury. Unfortunate. Unfortunately, I still don't think the night's over yet. With an ambulance yet to arrive, it's up to officers on scene to try to stem the blood flow. You just need a very Can you just move back up the wheel in please? Thank you. Luckily for the wounded man, Jimmy is a tactically trained medic. Right, just keep, keep him there, mate. I'll go and get a put bandage. You've got to turn from being a cop and a medic at some point and uh, make sure we're dealing with the, the medical issues. Um, the rest of that can be all sorted out later on, but the main thing is uh, we've got to keep people safe. There okay, you go. All right, and rest back, back down. down. Nice and slow, nice and slow. Two seconds, two seconds. There we go. Okay, just relax there, buddy. All right. like Terry Butcher in that famous photo in the England kit. And <laughs> is my friend okay? Well, there's no one else lay on the floor, so I'm, I'm assuming he's all right. The man didn't expect his Halloween night to end like this. Yeah, I think they might have mashed my brain a bit. Uh, At least you're looking a bit more lively. <laughs> Doing good for Halloween though, perfect. Well, it could have been far worse. Try not to take your eye out, eh? I think what people need to remember is, if you're going to go out and you're going to be punching people, it only takes one punch. We, we could easily be it doing It really only death, does though. take one. Um, and that's, you know, I've just changed everyone's life in an instant. So going down the town and getting a little bit punch happy, yeah, I think they really seriously need to think about what they're doing. It's been a busy night for Jimmy, <coughs> but it seems his efforts haven't gone unnoticed by the injured man's friends. You stand up. Imagine if it was us. Hello. Oh, the trying to start out. I was thinking to myself, I'm going to have to like, because obviously when you see people getting kicked in the face, it's not nice, you have it? to do something. But yeah. like I was thinking, well, like, I'm going to get... 
like imagine if our lights stood up. No, it's not. They're not gonna light up like that. No, exactly. So it's worrying to think what happened on the he was turned off. Well, we just stopped, we were just there. He got completely knocked out and they kicked him in the eight. I'm being funny, though. But when they saw up and if they found out they killed someone, could they live? Well, that's the thing. When they're drunk, they don't think about that, do they? I don't think about that. I'm a bit drunk and I don't think, you know, I think about Why should they be any different? If the police weren't here on scene at the time, I'd hate to think what uh, actually could have uh, transpired from that. So he's going to be taken to hospital. The rest of them will go to custody for the night. I'm sure the cells are bouncing now, and just hopefully it's uh, it's going to calm down. He's doing a good job for the club today. Neither of the men arrested were charged with assault. However, the first lad you. received a fixed penalty fine of £90 for public order. I don't care. The second man arrested in the T-shirt was also given a caution for public order. And the man with the head injury made a full recovery. Coming up, the inter... It's late night and PC Liam Sewell is on his way to Stockton to intercept a vehicle which is suspected of failing to stop earlier in the day. We've got that uh, white Land Rover on CCTV and Yarm Lane in Stockton that made off from uh, PC Moffat. It's parked up two lads in it chatting to a lass so district unit have been sent to have a look at it and um, we're attending as well. It's pro probably going to make off again. This pizza-loving cop is part of the dog section, and both he and his faithful hound, Louie, are hoping for a slice of the action tonight. That's my cat's name, Louie. I just want to get there as quick as I can, so um, if it does make off, we're in a position to respond. Liam arrives on scene at a pizza restaurant where the suspects have stopped to order a takeaway. And he gets the lowdown on the vehicle from fellow interceptor Justin Moffat via radio. Go on, man. Now, Moff, we've got this, um, this Land Rover. We can't definitely confirm the reg, can we, for um, a seizure for fail to stop? What's the driver saying? Oh, he's uh, saying it wasn't him. He's saying he's all insured. Why would he make off? Yeah, back on, mate. Um, the one's lifting and he's got to explain why he made off. No lights on. But the suspects... So the name's Tigger T, being pulled with Bob by Quinn T. Driver Quinn T and passenger Tigger T deny any involvement. Yeah, well... I've not had no policeman behind me with like, <laughs> blue lights on to yeah. stop your vehicle. You admit, failed to stop in Carlton, mate, Carlton Village, so... I'll Carlton give you a quick interview anyway. Yeah, no problem. And we'll pop an open and we'll get it started. Stop stop it. Well, um, because the car is suspected of failing to stop, Liam is going to conduct a drug search. No have you got anything on you that you shouldn't have, mate? No, mate. No. Nothing on. As the search commences, Tigger T turns up with a pizza. And although Liam loves a slice, He's busy finding his own pizza evidence. Oh, a cannabis grinder. Yeah, it was just in the middle there, mate. And where there's drug paraphernalia... Twist one first. Cheers, my man. There's usually drugs. In pockets at the back, mate. But where are they? So was your check your bottoms, kid? Yeah. We've been inside of them. Sorry? We've just been inside no, of them. No, I've been one. inside of these ones, oh, the outside yeah, yeah. ones. The man appears clean, so Liam has a nose in the car. You all that, mate? Yeah, man. Who's in the car, were you? Kids who've been smoking, obviously, they've been in the car. And that's been smoking, drop, is it? Smell cannabis, mate. Oh, they've been, they've been. And he sniffed out a familiar smell. Yeah. Yeah. They've been smoking, drawing it, but, you know, we haven't got him driving it, have we? No. To do a Section 5A on him, so. Well, we're just going to search the car yeah. for drugs. Yeah. Prior to searching the car with a dog, Liam removes temptation in the form of the gent's pizza takeaway. Is this yours, mate? Yeah, yeah. I'll pass you that in a sec, mate, while we do the, stick the dog through. But Tigger T seems to suddenly be on a diet and dumps the takeaway. <sighs> but this curious move has aroused the suspicion of an eagle-eyed cop. And lo and behold, there's a tasty discovery in the pizza box. I well, here's my question, Tigger T. They didn't even suspect this. Why not just move, remove yourself from the entire situation 
because they didn't even have you in the frame. They didn't even, they wouldn't question you or nothing. They literally handed you your pizza and was like, hold this while we do this. You could have walked so far away from the whole situation. Like, you're, this is, I don't know. And it's not the slices of kebab. We believe it's uh, oh, skunk it's cannabis. Try to stash it inside his pizza and uh, discard it. This extra herb topping will cost the lads a trip to the Nick. Michael, are we over yeah. the van with us, kid? Yeah, no problem. Come on. Just going to be searching you, mate. We're going to be taking you to the police station for a full drug search, all right? Put your hands behind your back, mate. Locked up on suspicion of possession of controlled drugs, all right? All right, mate. So I locked up for the drugs, all right? Me? Yeah. Well, your mate's going to be locked up as well. You both will, but you're walking on with the pizza box, mate. All right. So it's yeah, 20 best two. Yeah, because I'm the Listen, the you're locked box. up on suspicion of possession with intent yeah, to supply the control drugs. I'll talk to you, though. Yeah, of course you can, mate. I said we're both eating the pizza. So I know, mate. Do no, no, your mate's getting locked up as well, all right? Yeah. So, so you both will be locked up. Yeah. It's only suspicion, mate. This is an L friend. What are you even talking about? Did you just drop? Did you just snitch on your homie in 4K? He said, I ain't gonna take this charge alone. We was both eating this pizza. This both are. That's instant. That's, that's, that's peak. I wouldn't be cool with dude after this. 100%. Hey, yeah. We'll prove who the, uh, who the pizza and who the drugs belong to, eh? Although the lads clearly like to share a pizza, it seems they can't agree on who the cannabis belongs to. There's a pizza box there full of drugs. Is it? Is drugs. <laughs> In his pizza, in the pizza box, yeah? That was in your car. And you've got the grind and you've got the empty pot. Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah, not not How about y'all both just be quiet? Yeah. Oh, I've just got two lads. We've just got two lads. Look, I'm going to point you back. As Pizzagate rages on, Liam has time to digest the evening's events. Obviously, lads got his... Uh, Look how he is looking at him like, like I can't believe this. <laughs> That's tough. Ages on, Liam has time to digest the evening's events. Obviously, lad's got his um his pizza there, uh, with his chips, his you know his kebab meat in there, and his cannabis. So they've both been locked up on suspicion of possession of attempted supply. Um, good place. It to really buy is. Really, it? Yeah, I, I think I lifted it. I think. Dummy of the day is Tigger T. You could have walked away. You could have like you could have still had your kebab and your. You know what I'm saying? Like you. I lifted that out the car at one point, didn't I? Goofy. Quinty, Tiggerty, and the Teamobile are on the way to Stockton, Nick, for a full search. It's been a good night for Liam, although his dog Louis will have to wait until later for a sniff of the action. So before Louis w w went in the vehicle, we moved the food out of it, which was the um, the pizza box, and. Uh, yeah, that Bobby looked in it. Obviously a bit sharper than I was, and he's found uh, found all the cannabis. So a bit of a result, they're both in for Peewits. And uh, they failed to stop. So yeah, what started does that little job by him off it. He literally just told us, I wasn't even thinking about that pizza box. Spotting a vehicle, acting suspiciously, has resulted in uh, two in custody and one vehicle off the road. A full search of the vehicle down the station revealed drug paraphernalia, but no further drugs. No further action was taken on the failure to stop, but with neither fessing up to the pizza stash, both were found guilty of possession of cannabis. As they should be, both of them. Just be quiet. <laughs> Alright, I guess he didn't snitch. But he did in the... I mean, like, I, still, he tried. Driver had to pay £85 in costs and a victim surcharge of £20. The passenger received an £80 fine and a £30 victim surcharge and £85 CPS costs. The cannabis was destroyed along with the pizza. Alright, it's an eventful episode of Felice Interceptors. Tell her, leave a like, comment, subscribe, turn the post, I'm gone.